do the test for fats. Or another thing they might call it is fats and oils, or another word for fats is lipids. And they are also a um, type of nutrient that is found in a lot of different foods. The test for fats is quite simple. We talked before on a previous food test about the reagent that you use. The thing that you will use for the fat test is a piece of brown paper. Okay, so in a test, if you were asked, what do you use to test for fats? That's all you have to say, brown paper. Okay, the fat that we're going to use is olive oil. Okay, because we know that that is a type of fat. Okay, we are going to put just a little bit of fat onto the brown paper. I'm just smearing it in. When you, obviously you will do the um, different foods. Okay, I'm just doing this because I know that this will give us the positive test result. With your food, if it's a harder food, rub it on to the brown paper. Okay, and either way, the positive test result, the next thing is to then hold the brown paper up to light whether that's through the window or your light in the classroom, and you should see a difference. Okay, so I will show you guys in a moment, but what happens is the brown paper goes translucent. You can start to see through it. Okay, so I, again, I don't know if many people can actually see that. I'll come around, but we describe it as being translucent. 